everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I've um, been away from doing my painting for a few weeks while I've been concentrating on doing some dragon egg druzzy resin pieces, which you may have seen me posting on um, my Facebook page. Um, so I'm today getting back into doing some art uh, of a different kind, just a normal uh, acrylic pouring art. So today I've got a, an MB, MDF board here, which is 25 centimeters across. And I haven't um, sealed it with anything. It's uh, got a very tight um, surface to it, so I won't have any problem with the paint disappearing into it, I hope. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of um, beautiful colored placemats, and then I'm going to put a, um, some cork on the back of these. These haven't been pre-corked at all. You can see I've just used some um, uh, tape there to cover the back to keep it nice and clean. Uh, not that it will matter too much anyway, um, but really it's just to help me actually once I've resined this piece to get the resin drips off. Um, it's the main reason for um, having that tape on there really, because I am going to use some self-adhesive cork on the back of that when I've finished it. So today I've got a lot of um, the, this little piggy pigments that I've got here that I've had mixed up previously and I want to use those up. Um, but I'm going to use a um, metallic base. I'm going to put down the Araldo metallic silvery and also going to mix across that some of the metallic pearl. I'm going to use also some of the Montmartre pouring paint gold and some Amsterdam black cell activator. And then the colors that I'm using for the TLPs, I've got Show Pony, I've got Hustle with a little bit of Macaw added to it, I've got Afterglow, Constellation, Enchantment, Agapanthus, Sapphire, Mermaid, and Blue Eyes. So I'm going to do um, Lay Down the Base and then I'll do three blooms. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of a darker center that I'm going to blow out. Um, just to see what effect I'm going to get with that. So first of all, I shall lay down my base and I'll be back with you very soon. Call me out tiger Call me out, don't you? Lift me up higher above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall deep within. But don't leave me hanging just because I'm too proud. Whisper away. My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old I just want a bit more of the silver in there. I, I wanted this to sort of blend just organically. Um, which it has, but I just want a bit more silver in the middle there. Okay, disperse those bubbles as well. I'm going to do three blooms on here. One will be basically blue, one purple and one pink. So this is the um, Blue Eyes by TLP. Had these sitting around for a while, but I do believe that they'll still um, mix up fine. I'm just going to create a little puddle here. Beautiful color, Blue Eyes. And then I'm going to add Mermaid.
followed by sapphire, which is a beautiful dark blue. I love it. This has been sitting around a bit too long, I think. Give it a good stir. Sometimes when they've been sitting around for a while, the pigment um, will settle to the bottom, which is what's happened here. So I just need to give it a really good mix up to bring that back up and suspend it again. Lovely. And you can see what's happened here. I'm getting that lovely um, circle around my blue with the silver and the metallic pearl. So next will be my purple. And the first color is Agapanthus. Absolutely beautiful. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere who don't know what an Agapanthus is, it's a beautiful flower. It's actually a weed. Um, but we do plant it as a flower here in Australia and um, comes out in around about November so it's going to be coming out soon. They can be that colour or they can be white or a variation of those. Um, so enchantment next. Probably going to lose my paints over the edge there I think but anyway. And the next is constellation. Next will be my pink flower, which is afterglow is going to go down first, which is a very bright fluoroy pink. Followed by Hustle, which has got a little bit of macaw added to it, just to give it a bit of a um, sparkly effect. It's interesting to see how these paints go because they have been mixed up for a couple of months now just sitting in these pots so we'll see. And you will see with me. And the last one is Show Pony. I'm very excited about the new colours that um, this little piggy is bringing out. Fluid Art Co. are bringing out with their new piggies. They look lovely. So we're looking forward to getting the, some of those. When they become available, I think in Australia it'll be the first week of December, I think they've said. So it's my birthday, so that'll be nice. Just burst some bubbles. Sometimes the bu bubbles play a little bit hard to get, so you can just burst them with your little meat skewer, which we'll just do there. Okay, so next I'm going to just put a little bit of the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold onto each one of those. If I cleaned the top of it properly when I finish with it last I'll be able to get the gold out. There we go. It's a little bit of that in the center of each of those. And now some cell activator which is just the Amsterdam black mixed with Australian flow troll. Approximately one part paint to um, three or four parts flow troll. The flow troll has been a bit thinner lately so it's not exact. I'm going to blow these out first and then I'm going to do something a little bit different in the center. I'm loving how the silver and white have given this lovely um, shape around the edge here. Don't know that's going to be of any benefit but I just like the look of that. And now I'm just going to use my little mini blower. Um, it's got Tracy Reed's little um, extension on the end here, which is great for blowing out these blooms. So here we go.
Okay. Well, they look absolutely beautiful, actually. And I'm loving the silver with the um, metallic pearl over the top of it. It's just giving that just a really interesting base. They look beautiful, and it's almost a shame to do anything to those. Um, what I wanted to do was put some paint in the middle here um, and then just blow that out in the hope that I'll get kind of like little um, pearls come up, but I don't know if it will work. Um, so, look at that and love it. And now I'm just going to do this and see what happens. So a little bit of the gold, a bit of the metallic pearl, a little bit of the silver, and now quite a bit of the cell activator. I want it to actually be quite a lot. To create kind of like a um, black hole effect in the middle there. And now I'll blow that out again. Okay, I didn't want to blow that out too much. But I really like that, how that's all coming up nicely there. Okay, so now I'm just going to draw a little bit of shape into these guys. Just with the bamboo skewer and I'm going to use the um, large end. I'm loving these colours so they're beautiful. Just a little bit of shape. I'm not going to modify them or anything, it's just giving their petals a little bit of shape, that's all. Don't want to do too much there at all, really. I think they're beautiful how they are. I love this centre. I don't know whether to make that look like a flower or just leave it, but just do a little bit of shape to it. And now I'm going to pop that down on the turntable and I'm going to give it a bit of a spin, which I don't usually do a lot of spinning, as you know. And I usually get away with not doing much spinning and um, so that I can keep the shape of my um, flowers looking like flowers rather than the deconstructed look. Um, and as I say, I usually get away with it, even though I have quite a bit of paint on the um, canvas or whatever it is I'm using. But um, today I am going to spin it out a bit. these how they've gone over the top of that pearl white and the silver it looks fabulous really pretty and I'm loving the center probably would have liked it to be a little bit blacker in the middle there hesitate to put any more um, black in there though really nope, I think she's looking pretty gorgeous so those pigments they were 
mixed up, as I say, a couple of months ago, and, and they've worked really well. I mean, I'm assuming this will dry nicely too. Um, loving this, and look at this gold running through here. Ooh. Very pretty. Loving it. Okay, I'll bring you down for a close-up. Here we are coming down for the close-up. This piece has turned out really beautiful. Um, and as you can see, these um, deconstructed blooms are looking beautiful. I'm just loving the gold. That Montmartre pouring paint gold, I don't hear a lot of people using it. They prefer the 24 karat by Deco Art, but seriously, I just love it. And you see the threads of gold here running through. Beautiful. And here's my purple bloom. And then coming over to the beautiful pink one. And the base where you've got the um, white and the silver, or the pearl, metallic pearl and the silver. It's just created a beautiful um, base underneath these blooms. And then of course my center here, um, which I'm just loving too. It's got beautiful cells there. It's really pretty, really pretty. A bit festive. It sort of reminds me of um, sometimes people have the poinsettia flowers and they they do them in the, in the gold, even though that's not how they are in nature. But they look fantastic. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that one today, guys. Just a quick one. And um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.